Hello everybody, this is Steve Brissetti again, your man from Movie Picks and author of the Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements in part seven of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. And here in part seven, we're going to look at titles. We're almost done with our movie. Now titles can be as simple or as elaborate as you'd like them to be. Whether you'd like to create just a basic title or a basic subtitle for your work, you can do that. That's fairly simple to do, but in Premiere Elements, you're going to have access to a huge library of exciting titles and templates to work with, depending on how fancy you want to be and how exciting you want to make the titles. To create a basic title, all we need to do is go down here to the Timeline Shortcut panel on the left-hand side of the timeline and click on that little T. Here we can make a title by clicking directly onto the program monitor. So I'll just click there and then start typing. Once I've typed the text, I can select it, and over on the left here, I have a number of options. If these aren't toggled, you can toggle them open for affecting the appearance. In other words, the color of the font, the color of the text, if it has a stroke around it or a background, what font is used for the text, what style the text has, its alignment in the video frame, and of course, how large it is. And you can position it either by using the position tool here or you can switch to the selection tool on the timeline and then just drag it into position wherever you'd like. You notice that once you create the title it appears as a clip on your uh, timeline and you can use it either over existing video or in place of video depending on how elaborate the title is. Now that's an easy way to create a simple title or to create a simple subtitle for your movie. But where it gets really fun, let's go ahead and delete that from our timeline, is when you go over to Title Templates. So to get to the Title Templates library, you just go over here to the left-hand side toolbar, click on that little T to open up Titles and Shapes. Click on the Templates tab. Now there's both My Templates and Adobe Stock. My Templates are the templates you've already used or already downloaded to your computer and you, and you can see I've used a lot of those. But the Adobe Stock button will give you access to Adobe's massive library of thousands of titles. You can see how elaborate some of these get. These come fully with animation. Some of them come with backgrounds. You can customize them and remove the backgrounds if you'd like and make them transparent. But some very cool title templates in here. Let's go back to the templates that are already on my system. I'm going to select one here. We'll choose the modern title with border. Drag it over to my timeline. And there's my title. Now to customize the text that's on the title template, in some cases, you click on the title itself here on the program monitor, as in this case. And as, as before, you can change the font, you can change the color, whatever you'd like. These have animation built into them. So as you can see, as I play the title, you can see how it's introduced through an animation that involves both the graphics and the text itself. Let's throw away that title. I want to get you another title to show you how some of these templates operate a little differently. This time we're going to use a more elaborate title from Adobe Stock. This one called Dynamic Social Media Title Opener. It's as complicated as its name. Notice sometimes you get a note that the fonts that are built into the design of the title are not available on your computer. Don't worry about those right now. It will substitute some fonts for you. And this dynamic title opener, rather than changing the text on the screen or on the program monitor, you'll actually come over here to the left, open up text controls, and open up each individual text block and make the changes here in the titles and shapes effects controller. So I can call this Grisetti Films. And call it the big movie. You can see I'm making the changes here on the panel rather than on the directly on the program monitor but as they as I click on each box and make the change it changes on the font itself I believe there are actually several like six different titles and subtitles that are part of this but you get the uh, you get the idea right anyway the thing to take advantage of and the gist of all of this is this is one of the tools in 
Premiere Elements that is hooked into Adobe Stock, which is a massive library of stock photography, stock video, stock special effects, stock audio, and titles. So a huge library for you to take advantage of and well worth exploring are a lot of fun here. And this library is going to continue to grow as Adobe adds to the Adobe Stock Library. So pretty cool stuff. Now, coming up in part eight, we're going to finish up our movie and share our masterpiece with the world. I hope you come back for that one. That's part eight of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm Steve Grizzetti. See you in part eight.